April 14th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start off with uh, Fukushima, or actually Japan, on the RSOE. Situation update number 85. For the first time since the March 11th earthquake and tsunami that devastated the country, Japanese authorities have reported that they have discovered minute amounts of radioactive strontium in areas of the country. The tiny amounts of radioactive strontium were detected in both soil and plants in Fukushima Prefecture and beyond the 30 kilometer zone that Japan has established around the struggling Fukushima nuclear power plant, which has a total of six reactors. The plant is owned by the Tokyo Electric Power Company, TEPCO. The 30 kilometer zone consists of an evacuation zone of 20 kilometers along with a further 10 kilometer zone where residents are told to remain indoors. <laughs> Earlier this Monday, the government announced an expansion of the evacuation zone for some municipalities. These would be evacuated as tests showed high levels of accumulated radiation. The evacuation zone might extend as far as the 30 kilometer radius. Now, radioactive st strontium 90 has a half life of 28.9 years. Uh, they're saying the amounts discovered were minute, and of course they've been saying all oh, this is light, light for a very long time, over a month now. Um, but the human body absorbs the strontium as though it were calcium, so iodine tablets are not going to help you with this stuff. Uh, the story goes on a little bit. And on UB Alert, Disaster Alert today, low levels of plutonium detected in South Korean seawater. Seoul, Korea, a state-run nuclear safety agency reported on Wednesday that low levels of plutonium were detected in waters off the Korean peninsula. According to the Korean Institute of Nuclear Safety, minuscule levels of plutonium, man-made radioactive materials deemed dangerous to human health, was detected in 12 out of 23 spots, tested for March 26th through April 9th. Well, this is April 9th. Uh, they explain the contradictions remain around the normal level, won't have any ill effects on human health. Uh, they added trace amounts of radioactive cesium and iodine, and iodine were also detected in the air, but the amounts were quite low and will not pose any health risks. Of course, they're always saying this is low, but this is accumulating. So, uh, South Korea has detected plutonium in their seawater now. Over to EarthChangesScott.net. Uh, apparently, you got a they got a story going on about uh, plague found in two pets in New Mexico counties. Now they're saying it might be transferable to humans. Uh, they've got another story. Role reversal: Is Europe about to move below Africa as direction of tectonic plates shifts? So they're talking about the European plate sliding underneath the. Uh, African plate. Iowa State study shows erosion of Iowa farmland worse than reported by USDA. A study by the Iowa State University researchers show a heavy rains in recent years eroded away with the state soil at a much higher rate than was considered sustainable by the government. And uh, yeah, they're saying all this this heavy rain we've been having and all this floodings we've been having year after year um, is taking its toll on the soil. Rain pounds Grenada, flooding forces evacuations. Uh, now most of my viewers are my age or around my age, so uh, you'll remember Grenada back uh, when Ronald Reagan sent the troops down there to save those college students from the Cubans. Um, St. George's Grenada, unseasonably heavy rains caused landslides on the Caribbean island of Grenada, where officials on Tuesday relocated families away from swollen rivers that flooded homes and destroyed small fishing boats. Uh, we should be in the dry season, but we are, we are experiencing so much rain, Grenada Prime Minister uh, Thomas said while he toured the island's northwest region. So they're supposed to be in their dry season, they're just getting deluged. Uh, Queensland, Australia, mass turtle death investigated. Uh, 
um, giant ocean whirlpools, puzzles, scientists. Uh, the U.S. scientists discovered two giant whirlpools in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of uh, Guyana and Suriname. It became a sensational discovery because this part of the ocean has been studied thoroughly and no one expected anything like that to appear in the area. More importantly, no one can understand where the whirlpools came from and what surprises they may bring to people. According to a Brazilian scientist, uh, the two funnels are approximately 400 kilometers in diameter. Until, until now, these were not known on Earth. The funnels reportedly exert, exert a strong influence on climate changes uh, that have been registered during the recent years. Uh, and again, the story goes on. Um, <clears throat> again, with the Tau earthquakes uh, in the Philippines, and uh, that volcano gearing up. Sixteen dolphins uh, wash ashore in Pondi, India. So they're having some dolphins wash ashore. Uh, they've got the story on Japan's nuclear volcano erupts. Uh, and this is an eco economic thing. Uh, shares plunged across Europe and Asia on Tuesday as the crisis at the Fukushima nuclear plant deepened in Japan's nuclear and industry safety agency raised an atomic alert level to its highest rating. And uh, yeah, Japan's shot, their economy's shot, they're just trying not to tell anybody. And then over to the extinction protocol, uh, they've got a story off of um, space weather. Solar activity increases as sunspot numbers multiply. Emerging sunspots, more solar activity could be in the offing. As sunspot 1190 grows rapidly near the center of the solar disk, a new and large sunspot is rotating over the sun's eastern limb. The number of sunspots has also been increasing. And uh, those of us paying attention know full well that the sun is gearing up. And then they've got a fear piece, the sinking of Japan five years before the March 11th earthquake. Apparently there was a big disaster movie in Japan uh, about the sinking of Japan. They've got the trailer shown, and um, <clears throat> then they've got some um, earthquake footage where the, the land's pretty much liquefying, and we've all seen the videos. And uh, like me and a few other channels have been going on and on about, this shelf is very unstable. Um, just the way the earthquakes are all over the place, I, I do believe that Japan is on the move. Um, and then here we go again, uh, quake swarm rattles Virgin Islands, 20 quakes in 24 hours. Now this is just east of um, Puerto Rico where we've had all these Puerto Rican big bursts of earthquakes <coughs> not too very long ago. So this shelf in the Atlantic Caribbean um, is very unstable. And uh, they've got a story, magnetic field anomalies and sign of further field declination. And they're talking about um, the Atlantic anomaly and how it's affecting um, the weather. And then they have the scientists puzzled by giant whirlpools have appeared in the Atlantic Ocean. And a new lava dome seen in Indonesia's Maripai volcano. Uh, Indonesia's most active volcano, Maripai, has seen a new lava dome formation at a, dia a diameter of 400 meters recently. The dome was a result from the latest eruption, which expanded to 400 meters in diameter, said the chief uh, volcanology technology research and development agency. On Tuesday, according to this guy, the new lava dome is not yet visible because it does not overflow. However, the situation at the Maripai Peak is now back to normal after sharp changes occurred on Friday, April 8th. During that day, the volcanic tremors were recorded at 50 times the, of the occurrences, which later doubled on Saturday. But it is normal, he said. Okay. Uh, the tornado outbreak back on the 12th uh, did set a record for Wisconsin. A uh, powerful storm system that moved through the nation's midsection over the weekend caused what may be a record-breaking seven tornadoes in Wisconsin, officially set on Monday. It's one of the most significant tornado outbreaks in April, said um, 
Rich Mamrosh, meteorologist for the National Weather Service. He said if it confirmed the number of Sunday night storms had broken a record for a single day in April in the state. Previous record was six. Oh yeah, and that was a that was a hell of a storm. And it was all just north of us. And they've got a pretty cool picture where there's like four tornadoes in a row. And this they've got the story where Japan has raised it to a level seven and it should be like a level flipping ten. And that is about it for me tonight. Of course I will attach all the links below. And if I missed anything, please comment or attach your videos below. Um, enjoy while you can. Thanks, everybody. Sorry about all the gloom and doom.